That's a catfish's dream right there. Good old coat and a catfish boogers on your sleeve. Oh God. We didn't even get the rods out, man. Didn't even get the rods out. And we hooked up here. That dude ain't pulling nothing like the bite, that's for sure. I think this one's on a piece of white perch. Nice little blue man. Come here. I can more jump these couple of rods right here. <laughs> See gonna get him up there. Yeah, I ain't even got the rods in the water. Ain't nothing like a takedown on these blues. They ain't nothing like it, I'm telling you. I love to see that rod fold over, and this is a little one. So I can hit a headpiece, it's perched. <laughs> I can't see why I got him in the net or not. Come on, dude, don't get my bait. There we go. Always try to drop that piece of weight out the side there. Let's see if we can get this dude up in here. Ah, come on aboard, my friend. That's a nice fish, man. And what y'all think about that one? It's a pretty fish. You see, you come on a big headpiece, 10 off hook, little three inch float. About a 12, 14 inch leader. I think we're fishing a four ounce, no roll sinker right there. But we on the board, we'll take that, man. Yeah, I'm just going to rehook this and throw it right back out there. Move these couple rods back over. There we go, guys. Uh, uh, yeah, things is popping and snapping, man. <laughs> things are popping and snapping, Jack. This looks like a better fish right here. Can't really tell that glare off of water's bad this morning. Come on, dude, miss that line for me. We trying to pull him out that way. Come on, dude, miss it. Yeah, this looks like a better fish here. See, so he can't get you in the chair. I don't know what's Ah! Pull on him. Put the pull on him. I don't know. He's looking like he's in the same size class. Grab the net again. I don't think that one's as big. One more reel. I believe this guy come on a piece of hair in here. Yep. A little piece of blue bat hair. Come on, dude. There we go. Good man. Ah. Set this guy out the way. Throw this dude back out here. Yeah. This is the only big, really big piece of bait I got up there right now. I'm gonna shoot it back. And then we'll mess with these fish. It's cold out here this morning. <laughs> Ah, 
right, my friend. Hey, thank you, sir. Come again. And his little brother. We thank you, sir. And if you'll let go, and come again. Well, guys, I ain't as cold as it was a second ago. Let's get out some of this stuff here. See if we get some rods put back out. Hi, guys. I'm Mark. I'd like to welcome you to Whisker Pig Fishing. We're on Clark's Hill today. We're fishing uh, this muddy water flood. Um, we had a good bit of rain yesterday. The real mud part hadn't made it down yet. We're going to give it a try here and see what we can get out of this thing. It's cold. 25 mile an hour winds forecasted. And it's in the low 40s, high 30s right now. Ought to be good. There we go, brother. It's leaving out with it, too, ain't it? Leaving out with it. Can we catch him? He's running straight at us. <laughs> Running straight at us. There we go. We got him tight that time. Oh, that sucker pulled off, man. He pulled drag and pulled off. We never really got good and tight on that fish right there. That was a big piece of uh, white perch. Hooks extremely sharp. We just never got him tightened up be days like that what i'm doing here is i scale this side i cut this fillet off i don't have just a few perch with me cut the head off and this part right here i'll take it and cut this little piece right here out i'm gonna make chum out of that and this right here, I cut in a couple spots like this. And we'll chum that tail. And I usually just cut this fillet right here in half. We're going to fish this part right here. That's what that fish right there just hit. That's what we're going to send back out there. I'm just fishing the eight-off circle hook. Pop that thing up on there. Make sure you don't have a scale on it. Cause it will it will keep you from penetrating and that's what we fishing got a generic czar on this thing and a five ounce piece of lead on a slide and i and i do fish this little clip right here too this helps you take the line off easier because we're just gonna fire this guy right back out there we never really got good and tight on that fish Check the drag. Got plenty. I'm gonna tighten it up a little bit more. See if we get a better hook set on that. There we go. We reset our timer and see what we can get out of it. There we go, folks. He's gonna pull us down right there. <clears throat> Got him on. Got him on. Oh yeah, come on dude, pull. I got the drag fairly tight on these things. They can get him out of the anchor back then. He's trying to get up in our towel line. Ah oh, yes, come on guy, pull on. Pull on it, big dog. Oh, he's just holding the bottom now. Look at that beam, man. We need to give this fish a little more drag. Try to get him out of that tail line. All right, he hit that tail line right there. If you if you'll hit the boat like that, a lot of times it'll spook him away from it. Look at the drag. This is a better fish here. 
I'm gonna jump this rod and try to get us ready before we can get back up here to him. This will come on a piece of hair. Got our stuff. Horseshoe, Jack. <laughs> he gave me this little ugly stick all it wants. Yeah, he's trying to get back to that tail line back there, that motor or something he sees. Lord, he's putting a bend on it, guys. <laughs> Ain't nothing like a good fish. Here it goes with some more drag. All you can do is just keep heavy weight on him. We're about to get a look at this dude. That looks like a good fish. You can't really see, but that sure looked like a good wide piece of tail meat on that dude. All right, I'm gonna go after the anchor. I mean the net, the anchor. <laughs> I got that tail on on my head. That's a nice looking guy there, boys. I mean, a nice looking one. Look at the head on that dude. Come on. Got him in there? Yes. Got him in the sack. Whoo, Lord. Yeah, this one came on a live herring. Live herring, about the biggest one I had in the tank. Now, let's see, can we get this dude in here? Yeah, getting them up in here is the, is the issue. When you get old, you ain't strong as you used to be. And this boat high as all get out, man. That's a real fish there, fella. Oh! <laughs> well, I reckon we need to fight him a little bit more. <laughs> I can't believe that jump. I'm actually gonna take this fish to the front of the boat here. I just ain't strong enough to lift this guy up here like that no more. Enjoy it while you're young, fellas, cause it don't last forever. Ah. Come on, give me the ride. There we go. Yeah, this is a good fish, man. He's still giving a fight. We didn't have him in the sack one time. This is usually when the mother rides back there go down. Alright, let's try this guy again here. Yeah. That's a nice fish, boy. <clears throat> oh, let's throw this guy in here. Uh -huh. Yep. One right there's got some, got some weight to him, man. Uh, that's a fish, too, man. That's a big one. I know one thing. Got on too many clothes. Alright, come on back here, man. Come on back here when we get a look at you. Look at that. That's a full big pig there. Yeah, that's a full bearded pig there. That fish is going up in the probably 40 pound range. Nice guy. Lord, I need some air. Get 
Yeah, my scales won't lock out. And that dude weighs 40 pounds right there. That's a good fish, man. That's a nice one, man. Good. Ooh, Lord. Yeah, we're gonna bait it back up, shoot it back out there, and get a breath here, man. It's hot and cold. This wind is torturing cold. You get a fish on with this cold weather stuff on, and it's getting top. It gets too hot really fast. It's good stuff. I don't care who you are, full beard pig. Yeah. That's a catfisher's dream right there. Good old coat and a catfish boogers on your sleeve. <laughs> there we go, dude. Man, as soon as you start running them rods, I don't know what it is about it. They suck as a go to pop and snapping when you start messing with stuff. I think you just make a little commotion and it makes them move. Man, I'm bleeding. I'm gonna see that dude come off. Then I just ain't got tight back up on him. How y'all like that, man? <laughs> Look out! I have to give him a little bit of drag. I keep the drag tight on these rods like this. Come on, dude. Mm -mm. Yeah, he's got us messed up right here. He's got us messed up. What I'm gonna do is let this one up. Just don't pull on him hard. And I got him out of that. Drop this back down. Let's try to get this dude out of the way from this junk. Little baby fish. Sucker got us up in there. We're gonna check our line really good. Gonna have to check our line really good. Yeah. Man, that dude was coming to me, wasn't he? Get this thing out of the way. <laughs> See, can we grab a net here and get this fish up in here? Not a bad looking fella. Whoo, Lord. This stuff is making me work, man. I love it. <laughs> it's the kind of work you get everybody to sign up for that fishes. <laughs> that little baby self is. What y'all think about that? Mm -mm. Look at the plays on mine. That dude ain't good. We're going to send him back. We thank you, sir. We appreciate it. Really do. Come back and see us when you get about 40 more pounds on you. Here we go, dudes. Man, we can get the rod through back out. <laughs> we didn't even get the rod through back out. This is the rod that fish is on right here. Let's see, can I get this guy reeled up here, son? So we won't be all up in the way. I'm pretty sure he's got this line right here. Yep, got the line on this rod. 
He took off through the side with that thing going 100. All right, I'm gonna reel this guy up, son. Let's see what we got. We got another one of them tuner size guys. I think we got him out of that line. There we go, look at that. Look at that. That's all skill, you know that, right? Yeah, it's been uh, two minutes since I reset the camera. Come on, guy. Need to reel some more line. We're gonna try him like that. There we go. My fish is hooked behind the, get the two pad. Yeah, you fellas that don't think you need to fish big hooks. And these ain't big hooks. I fish some tens, it's a pretty good size one. This guy quit snapping out right here. I'll try to show you something. See, this guy's not hooked in the mouth. He's hooked behind that gill, that tooth pad right there. He just actually hooked behind his gum right there. If you give him any slack, he's gone. Not a bad one, guys. What y'all think about that? That's a pretty good fish. Back in you go. We thank you, sir. We appreciate you coming. Come back to see us. All right, guys, this broke our boat loose. I'm just gonna reel it up and reset. With the wind blowing like it is, we'll never be able to keep these lines tight, so I'm just gonna can it and start over. Here we go, guys. We can catch him. May have got him hooked up. May have got him hooked up. Come on up there and get out of that line. You can do it. Get out of that line. Look at that. He listening to what I said. I don't know what to think about that. Yeah, we've been about 45 seconds after we got these rods through it. I repositioned the boat intentionally. Because if you get out of whack, when the wind's blowing this hard, it's just going to keep you out of, out of whack, man. The lot not got caught up, but this guy... He's... Ah, yeah, got him in the hole there. Hey, you want my snack down there in the floor? He's all on my chips down there. Let me turn this a little bit when we get the sun off. Yep. There we go. Not a bad guy. We're gonna shoot this guy back over here now. Yeah. Whoo, Lord. Cut us a piece of hair. In. Throw it back out. Here we go, guy. We got that slow motion going down right here. He's swimming to the side with it. <clears throat> got him. Got him on. I suck at this slow motion swam off with it. Try to get him up so he gets to these rods. 
He just undecided he's gonna come on over here now. One of these has got a, oh, that one's got a piece of herring on it. I was gonna say, uh, one of these dudes has got a live rim on it. Not a baby neither, so we won't get up in that towel. Beautiful fish, man. Look, I like them when they get that little white mud color to them. You can see the iridescence in them, man, better. All right, come on. Oh. That's what that's looking like. Man, I wish y'all quit while I'm getting tangled up in the net and tearing it up. Yeah, that guy there's in the 20s, looks like. He quit fighting with me. There he is, man. It's a pretty nice guy. I don't think he quite weighs 20, but he's really close to it, I'd say. So with that, we're gonna put him back in. Pretty boy. We well, thank you, sir. We appreciate you, man. Ah. Yeah, we're getting a bite. About every 15, 20 minutes. I can live with that all day long. Decent fish. We're gonna catch a big one for us over with. I feel like it. Here we go, dude. Well, we got a piece of trash or something on the line right there or what? I don't look like a fish. Looks like a bottom. Yep, picked up a piece of trash, something on it. Here we go, this is a fish right here. <clears throat> Man, I'm talking, the camera's been on 45 seconds. camera has been on 45 seconds. Look at that pig out there just tearing everything out there up, man. Let's see what the way he's gonna go then. Looks like he's gonna clear that one. Maybe not. Come on back up on top, dude. Let me get you out of that line. Man, this longer boat is so nice. All right, I'm going to start jumping these rods. This look like a decent fish, man. Maybe we can get him to come over here on this side. Get where we can pull him over that way. Maybe we can catch him over that way. Piece of herring. What it looking like anyway. I don't know, that might have been a white piece, piece of white perch, eh? Now, I see, can we get him in? Move my towel again. Throw your pillow out of the way, you know you're having fun. Well, you gotta move your pillow before you can get the fish in. <laughs> Life done got too good, Lord. Come on, man. Get in that sack. Got him in the bag. Yeah, just netting these fish by yourself, something that's done took a while to get a hold of. I done got better. Uh, Y'all see how he ate the float? When I pick him up, look at this hook. This hook was hooked in behind his tooth pad like that. It wasn't hooked in his jaws. And you get a lot of these fish to do that this time of the year. They just start swimming off, and it's hard to get a hook set on them. I'd say a bit of piece of white perch. All right, we're going to shoot him back in here. We quit flopping around on him. We appreciate you, man. Yeah. I'm making us work now. Y'all see this rod still out over here, and this is the one we just got in. It's popping and snapping. <laughs> when you hit these jokers and they feeding, that it, it's something you don't forget about in a time soon. All right, guys.
guys. I'll show you how I fish these herring. Or just live bait in general. We got a good bit of current right here, so I just hook these things through the nose. Get you a good size bait. I always try to wet my hand up under this thing. I striper guide it for years, and if you wet your hand, the scales won't stick to it, and your bait will look a lot more natural. We just take this guy, hook him up under the chin, and you're not trying to delicately hook him like you are for a striper. So I'm gonna come out right into his head right there, not up into his brain. His brain starts right here, so if you get that far back, you're gonna kill him. I usually fish this on a two and a half inch peg float with some rattles on it. And that fish right there, rat wiggling around, is actually calling the fish to him. We're just gonna throw this dude back out here. Like a drag down some more. So it, maybe he'll hook himself. Put it back in the rod holder and wait. <clears throat> I go to the bathroom. I can't even get to the bathroom. <laughs> it's bad when you can't even get a bathroom break on. Man, the guy's coming to us again. Dude, come on a piece of herring. Move this rod over and see can I get the net here. Joke the bite don't warm me out, man. The camera's been running three minutes. Three minutes. We probably got a minute and a half on the fish. Alright, dude, come on. There we go. I'm gonna have to have some more grippers, that's for sure. I'm gonna have to have some more grippers, that's for sure. Awesome, man. You see them little bites on his tail back there. Pretty fish. Alright, fellas, there he is. We'll get one more little look at him here. Drop him back over in here. We appreciate you, man. You was a nice one. Grow on up. Come back and see us. <sighs> Grow on up and come back and see us. <sighs> yeah, I got a rod right there that's out of place. Something must have picked it up and swam with it, and I didn't catch up with him. <laughs> His pig got the pig. Guy. I'm trying to get the bait tank straightened out and hooked up. Hooked up. This guy's leaving with it too, man. Come on, boy. Pull on it. Pull on it. Pull on it. Yep, we're trying to get the foam off the hair and then he's trying to get the get a rod off of us. Look at that, man. He swam right over them two lines and he gonna come right in for a smooth landing. Imagine that. <laughs> Guys, I apologize for the wind, man. It's blowing. 
ain't nothing I can do about it. I'm gonna try to edit this out and post, but it's not gonna be a good audio. <clears throat> Got hit a piece of hair. Get a piece of hair. Let's see, can we just get him right here? We can get a hold of the rod up here. I have better control. Yeah, I might have him right there. Uh, 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 uh. Mm -mm, come on, there you go. There we go. Slime time. These jokers got me slimed up, man. Ah. Yeah, we having fun when that's a little one. <laughs> nice one, man. We enjoy these things. We appreciate you, guy. We're going to fire this boy just right back over in there. I'm tired of messing with him. Ah. I'm not complaining. Ah. They starting to put a whipping on me now. It's a good, it's a good kind of whipping. Yeah, I ain't been this slimy since the day I was born, more than likely. <laughs> Here we go, fellas. <clears throat> we can't even get the rods in the mortar. These are kind of problems I can deal with, huh? What you think? Kind of problems I can deal with. Yeah, I'm trying to check these rods. Get some new baits on. I threw that last rod in. Changed the bait on one. And it's on like Donkey Kong. Yeah, this fish is coming right for the boat here. I'm gonna take this grip. See how it'll make him run away. Cause we ain't wanting him in these tail lines. And I've just got these grips hitting this boat right here. And I still run him on around the side. So we're gonna jump these two rods. Matter of fact, we're gonna get three while we hit it. <clears throat> There we go. Yeah, this is a Zebco Big Cat rod. Man, I've caught some massive fish on these things. <laughs> I bought this thing off a guy. I think I paid him 20 bucks for two of them. They was used. I've been fishing them for nearly two years now. Come on in here, dog. Come on. Come on, get in there. Ah, let's jerk him on up in here. Yeah, y'all can see them wore big holes in my net right there. Picking them up. Ah. This guy's got a rash on his belly, looks like. Yes, sir. Slime time. That one just fell right out. There we go. I don't know how many we didn't caught. It's been a good many of them, though. That's for sure. Pretty, pretty guy, man. Let's see if I can get a little look at this rash on his belly right here. He's been laying in rocks or something. Could be that line got him. Either way, he's going back in there. Yes, sir. I'm trying to get the bait checked on the rods now. Can't get to them all. That's a good thing, I believe. Yeah, this hair and they not giant. I'm just cutting this thing about like that. And just cut the tail off. I'm just hooking that little piece. Just whatever way I can get him hooked up on there. Yeah, this rod right here, we're fishing a four ounce pyramid sinker because that's what I had when I reached down in there. Get the slime off. These are eight alt hooks that I buy off, off a friend. Just hook that guy up through the head like that. 
than they might be. I, I like to get a good purchase on them when I hook them. So I try to hook them through a good hard part of, part of their body there. Just shoot this guy back out here. It's probably 11 feet right here, 10. And I'm gonna work on trying to get these rods back out. Get some bait on them. I can't even do nothing with this fish. He's pulling drag off the off the gun. Can't do nothing with him. I'm trying to get this rod reeled in right here beside us. Oh, we got him coming our way here now. Come on. Mm -mm. Oh, he's heading right at us right this minute. We're getting him tangled and tightened up here in a second. Rod him back in the holder. Get this one out. Man, that dude was pulling right there, boy. <laughs> he still is. <laughs> and this was on that piece of green perch we just threw back out there. Head of a green perch. Oil mouse, what we call them. All right, big dog. Come on up in here and make a, make a date with the net. Mm-hmm. Messed up by time. Oh, another toady toad. I can tell you one thing. That's a slime pad right there. It's slick as glass, man. Yeah, I mean, we threw that right out there. I'd say less than 10 minutes ago. Probably five. Pretty good one there. There you go, that's what he hit. Dude jerked my freaking shoulder out of joint. Ow. Snatched my arm out of place. There we go, fella. That's a fatty there. A fat T right there. We're gonna send bad dude back in there. Wow. Poof. We thank you, man. We appreciate you. We'll see you later. There's our time. I think we caught four fish in 30 minutes right there. him over that one. Dude's wanting to come up out there. Looks like a big old head too, Jack. I think this is the one that's got the live bluegill on it or the live uh, herring. I haven't caught a flathead yet this year. Maybe today's the day. I do apologize for this wind, fellas. This blowing, I'd say 25. We literally sitting behind the, the wind break right there. Let me cut this thing off so it won't be aggravating us. Man, 
Oh, that's a nice blue. Come on. You can do it. Come on. You can come on up there. It'll be all right. Yep, this one come on the live blue bat herring. I don't know how live he was. He's been in there about 20 minutes. And they not the... They not the most robust fish that there is. <clears throat> Be quick fighting with us. Here we go, man. We take the guys like that all day. It's a nice fish. All right, guys, with that being said, we're gonna drop big boy back again, man. We thank you, sir. We appreciate it, man. You done a good job. Ah. <laughs> I'm trying to get this rod in the holder right here. We got him on. Ah. Got him on, man. Come on, big dog. Yeah, every time I get ready to try to leave, we get another hit. Guys making figure eights around that stuff. <laughs> making figure eights. They solid fish too. Pretty much so everything in me wants to go hit another spot so they can get on a better fish. But, I mean, these suckers right here is in the high teens, 20s. We had one right bump 40 this morning. All right, grab the net, El Senor Nete. Come on, my friend. Go down there and scoop this dude. Put the scoop on him. I can get you, get you lined up there. Uh, 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 uh. Did we get him? Yes. Got him in the bag. Try to get a little weight out so it don't get tangled up in that net. That's one of the things I like about these reels that's got these stun bars on them. It's a whole lot easier to keep your stuff out of the net. All right, here we go again. We're gonna move our pillow. Ain't like we're getting a lot of relaxing in. Step up here and grab this guy. Uh, yes. Once again, another nice solid fish, man. I mean, these fish are, I don't think he's 20, but he's up in the teens. We're going to send him back in. Thank you, sir. We really appreciate it. You don't know how much. There you go. He just spun his way out. Yeah, if you ever go to buy grips, don't buy these. They got no power, man. It's hard to find a good set of grips. If, if you know a good set of grips, how about shoot me a comment and let me know. Because what I've been dealing with ain't nothing but some garbage, man. Can't get a break then. <laughs> I think we got this guy hooked up. I don't think we got to worry about whether we got him or not. Look at this. How about two? How about two at one time here? Double, double. Toil and trouble. 
Double, double, toil and trouble. This ought to be interesting. All right, I got good and tight on that fish, you see? This ought to be interesting. That's a pretty nice one. Pretty nice one. Try to get this one tight again. There we go. I'm gonna leash this guy. We'll go get that other bear. We're just gonna drop him in the rod holder right here. Leave him there working. We'll come over here. And see, can we make this one work? Man, the wind is whipping, guys. Sorry for the audio, man. Try to get this dude first. Here. Come on, man. Come on in here. That's that old green perch head again, green. When we call a wool mouth. I find out a lot of things in the south ain't what we call it and what its name is got nothing to do with each other. There we go, man. We got him in the net there. That was exciting there, man. That's a pretty one there, boy. That's a good fish there. Yeah. We call that one a full beer pig. Get him out the net. All right. How can we get the counterpart over here? See, can we get his partner in crime? Oh, yeah. Got this mat down on him. So can we get this guy in here? Ah. Father and son. I might try to catch my breath, man. This dude got me whining. <laughs> when I say they got me whining, I done been in these guys this morning. Yeah, right this minute, I can't say they're doing no good. You take the naproxen, and it really doesn't help. Send me some air, Lord. First time we hooked him through the lip, this time we're going to come out right between his eyes right there. About like that. I'm gonna send him back out there. They keep biting him. I'll send him. Keep sending him. The one of them gives up. That sucker's blowing, Jack. We're having a hard time keeping the rods tight now. And this is a nice fish right here. Dude, I swear he's got road derby in him. That's a nice one there, man. He swears he's from the road derby too. He's trying to tear everything back there up. Let's see what this sucker weighs. Come on, sit still. 
99 pounds. We got a pound of grip. 28 pounds worth of muscle right there. Bad attitude. I see his buddy. We'll get him back in the water here. <laughs> you know you're having a good time when that's the little one. I'm going to throw these guys back in here. We appreciate you guys. Quit trying to twist everything in the world up here. We'll let you go. <laughs> and your little buddy. Dude. We thank you, sir. We appreciate you, man. That's what you call getting hammered, buddy. I'd like a little breath in between these nets and see. Give us a break, fish. About 15 minutes. Let me get where I can breathe my back to quit crying. <laughs> God, it's too good, man. Here we go, dude. Let's see if we hook this guy. Yeah, I think we got this one. Man, we just had a fish come by just two minutes ago. And he pulled it down like that. We didn't get him. Pull, my friend. Pull on it. Doing the rolly out there. Good looking fish. Rolling everything out there. Come on, fall in. There we go. That'll be another nice blue, man. They just pretty fish. One right after another, man. They just keep on coming. I guess I'll keep rolling them in. You know what's a hard life, but <laughs> somebody's got to reel them, man. <laughs> Just let them be me. <laughs> Let's get this guy on the hook and see what we got. Oh, we're getting hit right here now. We definitely got bumped on that rod just then. Whoo, lordy. Have mercy, Papa. There we go. That was good old Solomon, man. Just a pretty fish all the way around. What a day. What a day. We're gonna drop him back over in here and try to reload these cameras. The batteries is about dead on all of them. All right, guy. Hang on before you start trying to take it away from me. There we go. What a day of fishing, fellas. Ladies and gentlemen, what a day of fishing. There we go, dudes. Man, I can't even get a sandwich in. They just ain't gonna let me eat no sandwich. It just ain't gonna happen. Ain't gonna let me eat a sandwich. They just can't do it. Can't let me eat a sandwich. That's all. <laughs> I've been trying for 30 minutes, man. My sandwich is still laying in the floor. Coming straight up. There it goes. Got him tight. Look out, miss the line. You don't need it. Uh-uh, you don't want that line. I seem to be the theme song today. Let's go straight to him. Oh, 
that sucker trying to get up in the boat right here. He didn't got to look at it now. It's hard to break them off of it when they see something like that to get around. But, not impossible. He's doing the rover. His fish are getting muddy. I'm noticing that our fish are getting muddier and muddier. They either just starting to wake up and come off the bottom or they lay them back down in it again. Come on up in here. Little big dog, come on. Come on, get in there. There you go, you can do it. Another big old head. Pretty fish. Yeah, they're getting a little mud on them. I noticed this one had some mud on him before he rode around the floor down there and rode everything off. We'll take these guys all day long. From the looks of it, we might be gonna get them all day long. Whoo, Lord. Are we having fun yet, guys? <laughs> the bad thing is when you get videos that's got this many fish in them, it's hard to do anything with them. Good problems to have. trying to eat a sandwich that's all it takes all it takes just go after that sandwich and that's all it takes So kind of get him over that line. I think we did. Another one. Yep, I'm gonna try to eat my sandwich and uh, we're gonna move. I know the fish are actively feeding. Mm -mm. That little dude's gonna get us all tangled up in the net. And there we go. That's the smallest one of the day. Yeah, y'all see I'm trying to eat that sandwich right there. Can't get bite off of it hardly. I'm gonna finish my lunch and we're gonna move, try something different. Even get the rod thrown out, man. What problems do I have? I'm still trying to get that rod thrown back out. We bent down, there's still our sandwich. Uh oh. May have broke us off anchor that time. Guy's pulling on us. I'm trying to take it. Trying to say <laughs> it's so much fun. Man, it keeps rolling that line. I hear that line popping off the side there. Ah, right. so can we grab the net again? Hey, yes, man. That's a nice fish, yeah. Okay? Every time I get ready to leave, I'll catch one like that. All right, big man. Go on back in there. Oh, God, yes. Y'all see that? We're going to eat that sandwich yet.
to go. We got wind current. We got <laughs> man, this guy's pulling too. We got wind current. We got creek, one creek flowing into a river. And it's just some crazy things going on with the current right here. It's sweeping lines around. They got five ounce chunks of lead on. It's just sweeping lines around like they ain't no tomorrow here. This feels like we might have a much better fish right here. We ain't gaining too much ground, that's for sure. dude's pulling he's hanging down there man i don't know how big he is but he's still pulling down there good i don't think he's that big that goes with some money Smoking some drag, y'all. A little bit of fish and what we're getting up yonder. Who can we get this day? There we go. Ah, <laughs> come on back. Come on. Come on back. He's over the net, but he ain't in the net. Man, there's so much current going on right here. I can't figure out what's going on. There we go, we got him up there. Good Lord. It's pushing, pulling. It's current going on all over the place right here. Oh, let's get a look at this guy here. Yeah, I'll see, I'm trying to get another snack in. And bam, poom, pow. Man, these lines in the back of this boat. This current's moving around so much, it's just, it looks like spaghetti back there. We're going to try to fix this. Look at that. All these rods are thrown out straight away from the boat. It's got them all pulled back up in a big old pile back there. There we go, man. That's a fat fish right there. 27 pounds. We're getting hit right here. One last smile. Say smile. All right, guys. We appreciate you, man. Ah. Woo, yes. Well, guys, I'd like to thank you for joining me here on Whisker Pig Fishing. Man, what an awesome day of fishing. That was something else, man. I love when these blue cats just slam that rod. It's just, it's addicting. There's no doubt about it. But thank you again for joining me here on Whisker Pig Fishing. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be doing this at all. 
check us out on Instagram and Facebook at Whisker P Fishing. Get some pictures of things that just don't make it on film here. And as always, you guys have a great day and God bless.